If you're a heat and air sheen technician and you're looking for guidance for direction for you to go for the rest of your career, what does that have to do with your ability to sell and why does it matter? This is a fantastic question. I'm Scott Simon Bell, coming to you live for HVAC Technician Sales Secrets, on a perfect day to talk about sales and business, and a fantastic day to talk about you, coming to you live from Sacramento. Okay, so uh, at one point, I was a comfort advisor in the early 2000s. In 2001, 2002 ish, went to, went to a bunch of classes, learned how to sell. 2007, 2008, flipped roles and became uh, a selling technician. And so when I share this advice with you, I've had the duality of both roles. You know, I've been on the management team. I pretty much played a lot of positions in heating and air. So it's not like I'm just like, hey, this sounds really good. I'm making it up. And, you know, uh, it just sounds good. So the cool thing about you being a technician is you get to learn how to sell from the very beginning. And it could be maintenance agreements. It could be parts. It could be pieces. It could be add-ons. It could be duct work. I mean, there's a whole list of things that you can learn how to do in, in the sales process and it's not like you're going out there and you're just you're you're stuck saying like I have to I have to kill what I eat. I live on 100% commissions. So as a technician, you're learning about the functions of the equipment, you're learning about how systems work, you're learning about design and theory. You're learning about ductwork, you're learning about static pressure, you're learning about how how the equipment actually is supposed to to do what it's supposed to do. And so if you're like, "Hey, I'm I'm aging out and I really want to get into sales." Okay, well, the best thing for you to do is to become a selling technician because you have way more credibility going into a home from somebody who's worked on equipment than just somebody who got hired for the summer or somebody who just can close deals. And there's going to be a time where you sit down with Mr. Smith, Mrs. Smith, Mr. Jones, Mrs. Jones, and they're going to have a question. And you're like, where'd you get that question from? Oh, we talked to a sales guy. I'm like, <laughs> You could say that guy's making it up, right? Uh, I've worked on equipment for X amount of years. Like that's not how things operate. So your level of cred credibility just goes through the roof if you've worked on equipment and you know how things work. And this right here is why you should go to HVACTechSecrets.com. I'll give you the goods, not in the Facebook group, not in the YouTube channel. Second reason, super, super important. In the expansion of an economy, you are going to have a job no matter what, right? Heating and air, condition air conditioning, plumbing, roofing, all these fields, people aren't gonna go without. Now. Here's what does happen. In the world of sales, leads get slow, okay? So companies start looking around, they're like, okay, how can we save money? Well, one of the things that they start looking at is like, okay, well, if we have a salesperson, we have to pay them their commission. Okay, that's fine. We have to pay their insurance. Okay, that's fine. We have a car payment. So we gotta keep them busy and they gotta keep the, keep the team busy. All right, that, that works and completely understandable. Now, let's say it slows down enough and the company's like, we need to cut a roll. Well, they start looking, they're like, we got salespeople. You know what we could do? We could push a selling tech. You know, we don't have to have a salesperson come in. We don't have to have uh, someone to go into the home. And in fact, it, in some instances, it's actually an advantage for the company when they're like, hey, can you send out a sales guy? They're like, we don't really have full-time salespeople, but we have technicians. We have a technician we could send out to your home and have them come work and look at the equipment and give you a diagnosis and, and figure out what's going on. Everybody else is like, yeah, let me send you a sales guy. Like, there's a lot of negative connotation about salespeople. I think sales happens to be one of the most fantastic jobs and roles in the world next to consulting. And, you know, I, I put them like, actually, I put them side by side. Okay. But I put them side by side. You have the ultimate capability. You have the, the ultimate ability to, to be a professional and let people know, hey, like, I wouldn't do that because it's not going to work. There's, there's been times times when I was up against other salespeople and I would look at the design and I would look at like somebody had specked out some job and I'm like, that'll never work. Well, how do you know that? Well, I'm a couple cheeseburgers ahead of them in life and let me go grab my tool bag. I'll show you how, let me pull out a manometer. Let's go over the math of a manometer, right? They didn't do this with you. They just tried to sell you something and tried to close the deal. You have way more credibility. Your job will always be in demand and it doesn't matter where you want to go in the United States or North America. Right? You could you could get a job anywhere, including Hawaii. You're like, Scott, do they have air conditioners in Hawaii? Yes, they do. Scott, do they have uh, air conditioners in the Virgin Islands? Yes, they do. Do they have air conditioners in the Caribbean? Yes, they do. So like, you could literally move anywhere you want and do anything you want inside of a really cool position. Should you become a selling tech? Yeah, if that's what you want to do. But I think you have way more an advantage than a comfort advisor or a full-time salesperson. You got one of three things to do from here. Just one of three. Find the subscribe button, click on it. And every time I send out a video, you'll get an update. Two, hit follow. 
three. You know what you got to do. Share this video with a friend. We'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.